in this video, I want to have a brief look at uh, Cook's reply to Dippert. Uh, Dippert was saying basically, when you consider cyber warfare, you're in uh, like new terrain and you need this, you need some new concepts, like just cause is not gonna work, so you need intentional cyber harm. And uh, then you, you let the game play out from there. So you have to uh, modify, enlarge, or do something because the traditional just war thinking, as in uh, just war, the just war tradition, isn't going to work for, uh, for cyber warfare. Cook says, well, no, look, that's not really true. Let's look at this and, and think about it. He, 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 Cook says basically that the just war tradition can still apply to uh, cyber warfare. He argues this in a, in a variety of stages. And um, again, this is just a brief uh, uh, look at the paper. There's lots going on in here. But um, Cook says, look, um, he wants to argue that, that, that all things considered, cyber warfare is still war. It's not something really dramatically different and new. Um, but you know, there's unique features of it, of course. But look, at the end of it all, it's still it's still warfare. He looks at some cases of applying uh, uh, the the just war tradition to uh, particular uh, uh, instances of uh, cyber warfare. Um, he takes up Dippert's uh, you know hard cases, and he, he he tries to make the case that you can still even in those hard cases, you know, for instance, if you have a a conventional attack and then you respond with cyber warfare sure you can still use just war tradition in those even those really hard cases you don't need this extension that uh, Dippert says you do um, and I think one of the things that's important about uh, 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 Cook's response it's a, it's a it's a it's an important philosophical point and I think it's often uh, uh, done when people, you know, say we need a new ethical system or we need something new because the old is just not cutting it. Um, what Cook says is, is something like this. He, he, he has sympathies for Dippert's view in the sense that, of course, there are some novelties. Uh, you know, it's not the case that there's absolutely nothing new here, nothing to see, folks, when you introduce cyber warfare into discussing the ethics of war. Cook is saying, sure, there, there, there are some new things here. And yes, uh, cyber warfare does present, it presents challenges to, to our just war thinking, their just war tradition. No question there. But, but traditional war also presents its challenge. It has its, its challenges as well. So you can, you know, and it's, it's not the case that, that, that cyber warfare is the first kind of shall we say, arena of warfare to present tough cases for the principles that, that are involved in the reasoning of the just war tradition. So that's not, it's nothing new, that's, that, that's simply false, that you can look in traditional warfare and find tough cases for whether or not, you know, just the, the just war tradition's principles would really apply to. Now, not only that, so not only is it the case that uh, yes, the, the cyber warfare presents challenges. Not only is that true, not only is it true that traditional war also presents challenges to uh, uh, just war, uh, the just war tradition, but Dippert says that even the challenges that are presented by, by uh, cyber warfare and traditional war to just war, uh, uh, the just war tradition, that even though they both present challenges, that the challenges that they present are often analogous. So the if you really want to push hard, so it says uh, uh, Cook, that these, these challenges that uh, uh, are, are presented to just war thinking via uh, cyber warfare, then by analogy, then you'd have to push that traditional warfare pretty well uh, can't be handled uh, by uh, the just war tradition. So that the whole, everything, you lose everything. So so the argument that cuts against just war tradition uh, in favor it, as, as, as outmoded or outdated by a cyber war would also cut against uh, uh, the just war tradition as being inapplicable or insufficient uh, with regards to traditional war. So you, you're, you're gonna throw everything out. You're going to throw the whole tradition out, and uh, and, and ultimately, uh, Cook is is saying no. It, it still works for the tradition, so it can still handle 
uh, the, uh, the the novelties. And what's what's underlying, uh, I think, what is uh, uh, Cook's main uh, point here is that you know we often come, you know, as Wittgenstein might say, we get a little excited about things, and we tend to see uh, things that differences of degree. And so what uh, Cook does is he says, you know, a lot of things that you find in different uh, uh, thought is a confusion. That is a, a, a truth that there will be a difference of degree, like cyber warfare may raise, let's say, for example, the epistemological problem. Like, what do you do when uh, you simply don't know enough to be making a really solid judgment about uh, uh, about a situation that you know you're operating as close as might say in the fog of war and you don't have enough details but you got to make a decision and it's going to have ethical implications and you want to do the right thing you know you don't know enough but you got to make a decision anyways well that's tough at, at the best of times uh, cyber warfare may exacerbate the uncertainty like you're not sure who launched the attack or whatnot. So, but you have in in traditional warfare the problem of of, of uh, uh, again not knowing that fog of war. That's that goes back to Clausewitz of the of the nineteenth century. So he was talking about the epistemological problem then too. So the epistemological problem is there traditionally. The epistemological problem is in cyber warfare. It's exacerbated in cyber cyber warfare, but it's a difference of degree. It's just made it worse. Fine. That's not a different in a difference in kind. So a difference in degree may not demand a new uh, 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 ethics to handle differences of degree. Whereas you could probably make a better argument for a new ethics if you had differences in kind. So, but if you confuse the two, then you're going to demand a new ethics for differences in degree because you think they're differences in kind, but they really aren't. That I think is probably the the sort of the the, the real kernel, shall we say of uh, Cook's response to Dippert is, uh, yeah, you're finding differences, but there are analogies with those differences here and in this argument that, sure, the, diff the problems that, uh, uh, sorry, the problems that uh, uh, cyber warfare presents uh, are, are analogous to the ones that traditional warfare presents to the standard ethical approach to warfare. And uh, some of the the uh, uh, problems that you're talking about with cyber warfare are merely extensions in the sense of differences of degree, extensions of degree. Yeah, it made this problem that shows up in traditional warfare, it made it worse, but it didn't make it epistemologically or ontologically or whatever term you really think nails this, it didn't make it a difference in kind, it just made it, it, made it harder in degree. So in that sense, um, uh, Cook is, is saying that, uh, you know, really what you've got is uh, you know maybe tougher problems to to handle, but not necessarily completely different ones in kind. And in that sense, um, uh, Cook is uh, you know saying that uh, uh, you know we can still use the uh, uh, just war uh, uh, tradition, all these principles. They are still useful in this context, despite the fact that yeah, there, there's going to be problematic situations, but that's nothing new. And um, you're going to have differences of degree. That's new, but that doesn't demand a brand new ethics. So, in other words, not every time something is new in 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 in, in a situation is it the case that it just follows that you need a new ethics uh, to handle it.